Hi today everybody, I'm Jason Salas. This is KUM News Extra. Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. We will talk to our friends from the Good Samaritan Hospital because they are back and they are doing very worthwhile, very fine work here on the island. So we'll bring them in later on in the program. But first we want to tell you about the Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign. It's something that DPW and GPD do in collaboration because this time of year, you know, everybody is on the streets. They're going to office parties, they're visiting family, they're out shopping. And so there's a lot of people out there and there are a lot of parties. Some people out there, we're not saying everybody, but some people uh, behaving in an irresponsible way. So GPD and DPW, our friends there, are, want to make sure that you are safe and they are enforcing it. Join me right now from DPW are Pat and Kanko and Officer RJ Cardenas from GPD. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Jason, for having us here today. All right, lovely to see you again, Pat. We, we got to make this more often. <laughs> yes, we love seeing you folks. Okay, yeah. so um, let's talk about, you know, the uh, campaign. How effective was it last year and then dovetail into what might be different this year and, you know, based on the amount Oh, it traffic. was really effective last year because we um, actually saw a lot of enforcement that went on and uh, people that weren't really getting arrested like they did years back. And, uh, you know, like I said, with uh, the word being spread out, uh, this year's campaign, though, is basically a national campaign and is funded by the National Highway Traffic Safety uh, Administration. And uh, what this campaign is all about is um, it's twofold and it, it, it deals a lot with uh, high visibility enforcement. That's to include DUI enforcement as well as, as uh, um, saturation patrols. It also deals with outreach or events that actually is an awareness, you know, for, for our, our motoring public as well as the community mm. on not to drink and drive. Mm. Now, are you finding, you know, um, probably both of you, but uh, Officer Cardenas more specifically, are you finding that things like Facebook and like Instagram, where you know, so many Guamanians here, they're saying like, oh man, GPD's in front of Kmart tonight, or you know, like, uh, be careful when you go by uh, GPO because there's a, um, uh, there's a spot check, or you know, GPD's out there. Uh, with the sobriety checkpoints. Um, do you guys see that as benefiting you because now everybody's more aware? Yes, it does, sir. Uh, with the help with OHS and the uh, public announcements, the information is um, being put out there that GPD is out there for enforcement. We also do uh, outreach. We did outreach at JFK informing the uh, students about texting and driving, DUIs, and stuff like that. So it does help us a lot. Mm. Well, good. So it's expanded to the, to the texting community as well. So it's not just people. That that in itself, I guess, is a, is a form of like high irresponsibility when people are on the roads. Yes, that's and, and that's what we want. We want we want community effort and community um, assistance. You know, uh, let's say if uh, someone saw an impaired driver on the road, we want the public to call the Guam Police Department. But of course, put to the side, okay? Because we do have texting and cell phone loss, and uh, you know that's really not an emergency. That's just an awareness, mm -hmm. and that's something to to have the authorities know that there's an impaired driver rather than you know having him lose his life or lose someone else's life right so. now, now let's talk about how effective you know the fact of or how much of a deterrent the GPD just being out there and having a physical presence on the streets has you know sometimes you guys actually bring the big kit with the big light and you know like uh, the officers will be there you know stopping people or they can just see you know officers standing on the side of the road you know how effective is that when people actually see you guys out there during the holidays it's very effective sir just being out there just our presence shows the people that we are out there enforcing the laws um, with our DOI checkpoints, our speed traps. As a matter of fact, there's one's happening today, all day today with a holiday, uh, Kamalen. Um, so we're out there um, enforcing it. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody knows that GPD, as far as um, you know, highway safety, runs a really tight ship, but especially during the holidays. And people should know this, you know, drive sober or get pulled over. It's fairly cut and dry. But um, as far as the penalties that people can uh, face if they are caught, what are some of those? The first penalty, sir, is uh, up to a thousand dollar fines, and if caught a second time, the, the penalties go higher, mm. and uh, uh, includes jail time. Yeah, so you guys aren't messing around. No, sir. And it, it's all it's all about you know because everybody once again is out on the road. Some mm -hmm. people you know even with small children, families are out there. You know they may be shopping till real late at night. And just to mention or, or to elaborate with what uh, Officer Cardenas had mentioned about uh, the fines and, and penalties, um, in 2010, GPD also enforced and developed uh, the book and confine policy, where you will be spending, if you're arrested for DUI, you will be spending one day at least 24 hours in jail. And then you have 48 hours to appear before a judge. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go in on, on, on a weekend, then for sure you're going to be spending more than 24 hours. I was just going to ask about yes. that because, because <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you happen to be brought in on a Friday or on yes. a day that Mm -hmm. The next day is a holiday, then what happens then? You wait till Tuesday. Right. Mm -hmm. 
to be processed through the courts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's yeah. no, there's no better way to remind honest. you about your mistake. Right, then. and it has worked a lot, Jason. I've seen a lot of uh, uh, stats with the courts as well. And, and then again, the DWI court, one of our partners, also was uh, implemented and uh, they, they actually developed a DWI, dedicated DWI court in February of 2010. And also they had a backlog of close to 600 cases. Mm -hmm. When that DWI court went into effect, the caseload had dropped. Mm -hmm. So you know, that was an effective uh, strike uh, from the part of the judiciary of Guam. All right, well, all right, we'll sit tight because we're gonna talk some more about drive sober or get pulled over right when KUM News Extra continues. So please stay with us. <laughs>